Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a skincare video. So if you want to see some of my skincare favorites, then please stay tuned. Alright, so I just decided to do um, a skincare video because I filmed a haul twice actually. Um, I filmed a, a haul at two different times and whenever I started editing it, it was just too long. I just talked way, way, way too much and I had way too much stuff. So I figured the best way to do it to feature some of the same things. Um, some things I just won't feature at all. It's really not that serious. Um, but I figured the best way to still feature some of the items was to categorize them. So I got a bunch of skincare items. Um, I got a bunch of lip products, which I will film later on in the video. And then I'll probably do like a tutorial or something in between. So stay tuned for all of those. But this is the first. So these are my skincare favorites. Um, I've been really into skincare. Um, I want to say lately, but not lately. I've, I've always been into skincare. Um, as you can see, I did not wear any makeup for this video here because it's all about skin. Um, a lot of times people get so caught up into the makeup and the color and everything that they forget about their own skin. But this is the skin you have to live in for your entire life. So you need to take care of it while you have it. So as you can see, like this is... Me without any makeup, I did consider putting brows on for the video, but I didn't even do that. Um, I have two different routine, routines. I have a morning routine and a nighttime routine. I'm going to be completely honest and I'm going to say I do not do my nighttime routine every single night, even though you should. Um, one thing that I am consistent about is taking off my makeup before I go to bed. So if nothing else, I take a makeup wipe and remove all of my makeup. However, um, I'll get more into it a little bit later, but you really, really, really need to cleanse your skin before you go to bed because that's... Um, you get all the gunk out of your pores and it cleanses your pores. Your face is able to breathe and, you know, you just um, decrease the likelihood that you'll get like pimples and breakouts and things like that. So skincare is super important and it's really important to me. The first thing I do when I wake up in the morning and when I get in the shower is cleanse my face. So what I've been using lately is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. And um, I really like First Aid Beauty in general. One, because it's good for sensitive skin. It doesn't have any parabens or sulfates or anything that's um, really bad for your skin. They don't have anything like that in here. And it's also fragrance free and allergy tested. Um, so I really love that about it. Sometimes my skin breaks out from, um, some, from certain kinds of products. So I'm thankful that I don't get those kind of breakouts. Um, whenever I use First Aid Beauty. So this is the Pure Skin Face Cleanser and it has um, FAB, which is First Aid Beauty, antioxidant booster and it's said to remove surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime. So this is what it looks like. This is the 8 ounce um, bottle. This bottle comes in three different sizes. There's the 2 ounce, the 5 ounce, and the 8 ounce. So, um, I think the 2 ounce is like $15. The 8 ounce is $22. Or, no. The 2 ounce is $15. The 5 ounce is $22. And the 8 ounce is $26. So, for me, I mean, the $26 one is your better deal. You get 8 ounces of product, which is what you would get in a normal face cleanser. Um, and like I said, I got this while I was working at Sephora. So, um, I got it for 20% off of that. But even still, um, if you're thinking about certain things like this, the thing that I love about Sephora is you can try anything before you buy it. So, um, you can get a sample of anything in the store with the exception of a few things. There are some things you can't make samples of like mascara, but you can get a sample of anything in the store and try it before you buy it, which is what I love the most, um, about Sephora. So I tried this. And I actually just tried a little bit in the store, put a little bit on the back of my hand, and I loved the way it felt. Um, and I was in the market for a new, fra or not a new fragrance, a new cleanser anyway, so I just decided to go with this one. So after I use the face cleanser, I follow up with a serum. And the serum that I have absolutely been loving, I've been using this one for about a year now. This is the Ula Henriksen Truth Serum. And 
you can't see the words but it's in a little bottle like this and this goes for $42 at Sephora however whenever I got this particular one it comes in a trio it comes with um, the truth serum the sheer transformation which is the um, moisturizer from Ula Henriksen and the night treatment so I got all three for $72 which is really good because everything kind of pays for itself the reason why I actually um, started using Ula Henriksen is because I love the moisturizer the sheer transformation um, so you get that which is 40 bucks on its own this which is $42 and the night treatment which I don't know how much that is but I would guess it's running at about $40 you get all three products full sizes for $72 so that's actually a really good deal and I got this last year um, around the same time that, that they had a coupon so I got $20 off of that so I got three products for a little over $50 which I thought was really good so this little bottle has one ounce and it's lasted me almost a year um, but what I do is I just use one little tiny squirt not even a full squirt um, and I apply it all over my face so I have like some dark spots on my nose and um, I used to have a breakout on my forehead but it's gone now and like I'm it's a little bit darker here around my mouth but most women of color have that but the the thing I really love about this is one it has vitamin C in it whenever you pump it out it smells like oranges it smells so good um, it has vitamin C in it and it helps to brighten your complexion not like not in a bleaching kind of way. Whenever I say brighten, some people think like, like I want to change my skin tone. No, I just want to want my skin to appear more evenly, which this does, and it also gets rid of like dark spots and things like that. Moisturizer, and I've been using the Skin Rescue Daily Face Cream from um, First Aid Beauty, and like I mentioned earlier, I was using the. Um, Ula Henriksen Sheer Transformation. But when I went in the store, I was looking for something that was a little bit cheaper than that. Um, so I just decided to go with uh, Skin Rescue. And this is oil-free and safe for sensitive skin. So I learned a little bit more about First Aid Beauty um, this holiday while I was at Sephora. Um, so I just decided to try some of their products instead of sticking with what I already know is good, which is the Ula Henriksen. So on to the nighttime routine. So the things I'm about to mention aren't the things I do every single night like I said before um the first thing I'm going to mention is a mask and I I do not use this every single night I just use it um maybe about once a week it's like a deep cleansing mask so that's not something that you want to do um every single day because you don't want to strip your strip your skin from the nutrients and you know oils and things that it needs so but like I said, once a week I use the Glam Glow. This is the Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment. And I'm sure you can't see the words, but it's in a green jar like this. It has a little star on the top. Um, but I really love these Glam Glow masks. This is the latest one. Um, there are four different masks. There's the Youth Mud, the Thirsty Mud, um, this one... The Power Mud, and there's another one. Super Mud, I want to say. Okay, so I was right. There are four, which I already knew that. Um, there's the Power Mud, which is this green one. There's the Thirsty Mud, which comes in blue packaging. The Youth Mud, which comes in a black jar. And then the fourth one, the one that I couldn't think of, is called the Super Mud. So these are all cleansing treatments. And what I love about them is they have antioxidants in them. Um, they have all kinds of things that are really good for your skin. This one specifically smells so good. Um... It's a dual cleanse treatment, so it goes on like a mask. Looks like this. Kind of smells like fruit. But it goes on. You leave it on for about 20 minutes. And you can see how it like pulls the oils and dirt and stuff out of your skin. It looks really weird, especially the super mud. But this one is a dual cleanse treatment. So like you could see earlier, this one is more of a green color. And you put it on, it dries, and then... After it dries, you kind of work it in with a little bit of water, and it comes off like a cleansing oil. So it really helps to cleanse and refresh your skin, and it also still helps to get all that gunk and nastiness out of your pores. And then so, before I use the mask, I always use a cleanser. So the cleanser that I use every night, or every night that I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to do for my skin, I use the Glam Glow Super Cleanse Daily Treatment Cleanser. 
And I really love this. Um, As you can see, it's um, black, like the super mud treatment, or more like a charcoal kind of color. And it smells like that mask too. It kind of smells minty, like kind of like spearmint. But what you do is you apply it to your face and then you work it in. And you can kind of feel, it has like exfoliating beads in it. And you can feel that. And it feels so good whenever you're cleansing your skin. It just makes your skin feel so nice and refreshed. And it kind of tingles because it has the mint in it. It kind of tingles. And so your face looks all dirty once you put it on. But then you rinse it. And it rinses so clean. So before, whenever I was using the Clean and Clear Cleanser, I would have to wash my face like two or three times to get it like really feeling clean. But that is not the case with this cleanser. Um, so I really love it. And it gently exfoliates as well, which I really love. Yes. Oh, I forgot one thing. I'll mention this later. Um, and then I follow at night with the Origins High Potency Nitamins. And this stuff is amazing. This is a mineral rich renewal cream. It's actually really thick. Looks like that. It smells good. I have no clue what it smells like. Like I can kind of smell some vitamin C in there, but I don't know what else I smell. Um, but I really love this because it puts all the vitamins and nutrients and stuff back into your skin while you're while you're sleeping. So it's a really, not super thick, but it's um, kind of a thick consistency. I'll just put some on the arm. And you just work it into your skin and then you go to sleep. And then whenever I wake up in the morning after using this, my skin feels so soft. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I just rub my hands all along my face and it just feels so good. Like, I just want to keep rubbing it. I know, it seems kind of weird, but it just feels so soft. You have to try it for yourself, okay? Um, but yeah, you just work it in and it puts all that moisture and stuff back into your skin. And I really love this. Now, whenever I first started thinking about this, I kind of shied away from it because I was like, well, I'm oily. My skin makes enough oils anyway. I don't need to add to that, especially not while I'm sleeping. Then my pillow will be all greasy and stuff like that. No, that is not the case. Like when I put this on my face, my face just soaks it up. And it's just like, mm, thank you so much. It's just amazing. Okay, got to take my word for it. But if you don't believe me, you can go into Sephora and get samples of these things. You don't even have to pay for them. Just go, ask for some samples, try it out for yourself. However, everybody has like little fine lines and wrinkles underneath their eyes. Like it doesn't matter if you're 6 or 66. Everybody has wrinkles underneath their eyes. But I've been using the Benefit Puff Off, which is an eye cream. And um, I actually got this for free at Sephora, like in my gratis. And so, like, I just decided to use it one day. But then I was thinking, well, I don't really need this. But one morning I woke up and my eyes were so, like, puffy and tired looking. Um that I decided to try this and I ended up falling in love. So it has like a iron looking applicator. So I just take a little bit onto my fingers and I just tap it right underneath my eyes and just kind of work it in. You don't want to like swipe or anything, you know, like drawing your skin back or anything like that. Um, so you want to use very light hands, but I did notice a difference between before I used it to after I use it. And like I said, all right, so that is it for my skincare routine. Um, if you like this sort of thing, then thumbs up or leave a comment below. And this was something kind of different for me. So just leave a comment and let me know what you thought. So until next time, bye.